Hi, and thank you for your purchase of the MD Crutch. I'm Max Younger, the founder of Mobility Designs, and we designed this crutch for you. Today I'm going to walk you through the out-of-box setup and sizing of your MD Crutch to help you step into the future of mobility. When you open your MD Crutch box, the first thing that you're going to see is that there's crutch bodies on top with the feet here, and then below, underneath the cardboard, uh, the two leg tubes, or if you bought a single crutch, there'll be parts for just the single crutch. The only other thing that you're going to need is either a coin like a nickel or a quarter, or a screwdriver if you desire. You know, when you're out and about, the only thing you need for adjustment ever would be a, a coin. The first thing that you're going to do is assemble the feet into the crutch legs. On the back of the crutch leg, there's a hole that aligns perfectly with the snap button on the foot. So when you're inserting the snap button on the foot, all you have to do is depress the button and insert into the leg, like so, and then push it together until you hear an audible click. We designed it to be tight so that it won't rattle. If it's too tight for you to push in, like so, uh, you can always use a table or the ground to push it in. So after you've inserted both feet into the crutch legs, we want to take and align the crutch leg to insert into the body. On the back of the crutch leg, there are three snap buttons that align with the three holes on the back of the crutch body. To insert the leg, you depress the snap button, like so, and slide in the bottom of the crutch leg until you hear an audible click. When you walk, sometimes it can have a little bit of noise, which we designed a tensioner here to allow you to reduce that noise or eliminate that noise. You can finger tighten as well as use a coin or a screwdriver to tension until you don't hear the noise. So here we have what's called the cradle. The cradle is what holds your arm. There's the arm pad here that is an antimicrobial arm pad that should never smell. On top of the cradle are two armbands. These armbands will show you how to adjust in a little bit, but they allow you to get in and out of your crutch and holds the crutch to your body while you use it. The cradle comes default in the box in the locked position, meaning it doesn't rotate. You can see the hinge here. It won't rotate up and out of the way. The reason why it rotates is so you can do things like brush your teeth or other daily activities without having to get out of your crutches. To unlock your crutch, you simply push from the backside, like so, on the slide lock until it's flush, and then the crutch cradle can rotate up and out of the way. Naturally, to lock your cradle, all you have to do is push on the slide lock on that side, on the lock side, you can feel that there's a little braille dot that signifies to you which side is the lock or unlock without having to actually look at it. To be able to access the adjustment screw for the handle, you have to rotate the cradle up. To adjust the screw or take the screw out, all you need is a coin or a screwdriver. On the handle tube, there are two different holes that you can put the screw. It does not matter which one you use. They're there so that we can make sure to have every adjustment available for our users. To adjust your crutch to your arm length, all you have to do is with the screw taken out, close the cradle, slide your arm in, and hold onto the handle. Make sure that your elbow is all the way back up against the back of the cradle and that your arm has enough give so that it's not torqued to the side. It's just on a natural angle like this. When you feel like it's comfortable and not putting pressure on the inside of your palm, all you have to do is hold onto the handle and click up and see which hole aligns with your handle and your crutch. Um, then you can take your arm out of the cradle and insert the screw. Either use a coin or a screwdriver uh, to tighten your handle until where it is nice and snug. What you don't want is a lot of rotation in your handle. The handle has a little bit of jiggle to it, but very slight. Now that your screw is in place, you can close your cradle. The handles are left and right specific. The right handle has a blue button with a braille dot to signify which one is the right handle. The braille dot allows you to feel it in the middle of the night when you don't have any light. The flexible arm bands allow you to get in and out of your crutch easily. They're also highly adjustable so that you can put them anywhere that fits you best. When popping your armband off, hold here and pull. 
To put your armband back on, make sure these top teeth are aligned with the top of the rail. You put them on, like so, on both sides, and then click into place. You can easily move it to the other end of the rail, like so, or overlap your armbands for a more snug fit, like so. You wanna make sure that your armbands curve matches the profile of your arm. You would not want to flip your armband around backwards because it causes friction on your arm. Some users like to use a couple of lefts or a couple of rights, depending upon how they like their crutches set up. To use a couple of lefts, you would take one of the lefts from the other crutch and place it on the rail like so. You always wanna make sure that that curve matches your arm. This allows you to easily get in from the side. Personally, what I like is where they're overlapped like this and allows you to easily flex and slide in. To adjust your crutch to the correct height, simply put your arm in the cradle, like so. And when you're standing, you wanna make sure that you're not slouching over and that you're not having to push your shoulders up. You wanna make sure that you're at a natural 90 degree position uh, with your arms tight to your side and your crutch feet slightly out at the floor. Currently, my crutch is a little short. So what we're gonna do is adjust the height and raise it up a couple of notches. On the back, you push the button and click until you think that might fit you. Let's see if, let's see if that fits me. Which you can see right now, I'm still a little bit, a little bit too short. So we'll raise it up another notch. That's about, that's about right. When you get it to the right height, you wanna tighten the tensioner to reduce the noise of the leg. Right now, before you tighten it, it makes a little bit of noise. And afterwards, when you use a coin or a screwdriver, nice and snug until the noise is reduced. Now that your MD crutch is adjusted to fit you, you're ready to get moving. We have another video called How to Use Your MD Crutch that teaches you some tips and tricks.